Hey everybody, Black House here once more with Let's Play Legend of Zelda Mesh Cap. There we go. In the last part, we came to the Crown of Mines, or the Cave of Flames, they call themselves, because they want to be fancy and edgy. We got the Cave of Pashi, which allows us to flip objects, like that. Oh yeah, this is a fun thing to use. I freaking love this item. Just apologies, I'm going to pull myself a quick drink. Now, this has been one of those days already. Uh, it's only 10.40, so I'm kind of assuming things are going to go wrong. With the case, let's get into it, shall we? As soon as I put this bottle down. If I can open it down, it'll be nice. Right, let's go. I just want to say it as a music but Let's go. So now we're in the bottom floor, which I don't remember being that tough. Yep, it's not that tough. Now you might be thinking, flip the points. Don't do it just yet. So what you want to do is instead go through here and avoid the spikes. I think that's what they're called. I can't remember what they're called. It's a trap of some kind. And these things apparently don't notice you because, I don't know, they've apparently got a... They're not honest, I don't know. <laughs> they don't like touching Minish. They, ha they have like sensibilities. Anyway, now they will be active. I forget what these things are called. <sighs> Traps or something like that. We'll find out later. But they just react to you as soon as you go in a straight line for them. For example, makes this one easy one. This one is easy as well. This is a relatively easy trap as long as you just keep moving. Oh, what? Easy dungeon is easy. Roll over by. Good players. I didn't actually mean to do that, but hey. You know, maybe I should have map. Yeah, that's better. This one you can actually get tricked if you do it wrong. Thank you. Didn't mean to do it like that, but hey, if it works. And it broke, don't fix it. There we go. And then we go upwards. You can probably see where this is going. You can probably see where this is going. There you go. There we go. Onwards for justice! Uh, yeah, you got it down on the side. We get back up easy enough. Hello, Keys. Do you mind? Ah, I see. Alright, so we do want to go that way first. I don't get how that actually spins you. I know, I'm questioning all the logic. Hey, I can say. It's just what I always wanted. Damn it, Kingsland pieces. God damn it! <laughs> Why did you give me two? I didn't even want one! Well, there's the boss room. I do like he just put these out with your sword. That's a nice touch. I think it's up. Yeah. Now this opens the portal to go back to the main bed. I believe... No, you don't want to go that way first. Damn it. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's south. I get it. Just go south to go and get the key, which is... If you can't tell, in there. Now I'm here, break it south. There we go. Okay, I could have stayed on there. Eh. Hindsight's 2020. This is probably... One of my favourite objects in this game. I mean, I know the Gush Jar is probably the one you use more, but I just love the idea to be able to flip things over. You know? Also, makes it easier when you're dealing with long range stuff. Then you know, to suck it up and just waste time. Next part, clearing a breeze. Ah, I hate this room. I hate this section. What you're meant to do is move along one step at a time, hitting these. Which is more annoying than you think, because if you do it wrong, you actually end up in lava because, well, reasons. Like that. Couldn't. Damn it, Keys. I know you're there. Uh, okay, it's down this one. Wait, I want to go this way for. Why would that be there if you don't want to go there? Ah, I see. Come on, let's go! Let's go! Alright. 
It's better be worth it. How much do I bet it's getting... I have to get that. Oh yeah, we're blocked by objects on the ground because reasons. It's better be worth it. God damn it! <laughs> How many more? Ow! Every five minutes, kinstone piece, kinstone piece, kinstone piece. I should just leave all treasure chests now. <laughs> one would be worth something valuable, and it'll be the one I leave. I know it. The Sod's Law says it. Now that one chest has that one key you need to finish the dungeon off. Onwards! Stupid friggin' chest. Every time it's a trap. I feel like I had an bar. And yes, apologies, I know he died recently. Yes, because this doesn't fill me with a sense of dread, just flying over lava. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Please! Thank you. Alright. I'm gonna say it's a kinstone piece. Oh, thank god, it's not a kinstone piece! <laughs> Yay! Something actually worth it! Yeah, which way I'm meant to go here? I guess it's I guess it's here. Hmm. That answer that question. Hmm. Well, I guess that's one way to answer a question. There's something odd about this music. I mean, I know it's meant to sound like ominous, like oh, you're in a dungeon. No. Oh. It just doesn't fill me with dread. It doesn't fill me with intrigue either. It's like okay. Nice way to sound. Then again, this game had to compete with Link to the Past, so I guess I shouldn't be expecting like gold standard music. And that's no offense, to Link to the Past. Hey, big key. Hmm, who knew? That's no offense, to Link to the Past. That is a so this game. Sorry, Link to the Past. A stellar soundtrack. I will never fault it. Anyway, we're going against a dunga. Oh god! Oh, why not, fairy? There we go. Okay, fairies, you can put straight into balls. Like so. Like so. Get here! Thank you. Thank you. And you put them straight in balls. When they heal you, I believe it's eight hearts or six. I forget which one. Now, as this was the item of dungeon, I'm gonna presume we need this. And let's go and face. A uh, dong Ah, oh, great. I think you'll, this is called the Flamer Saw, or something like that. But its weakness is Kane Apache on the red section where it's not glowing. If you can get around that, of like this. There we go. Then you walk on the head and kill it! Kill the core! And when it goes down, get off it because you will get fallen. Ow! Um, this section. Again, okay, please. I don't want to die. I'm too young. Ow! Ow. God damn it! That will. That actually will flood the room. Oh god. Ah, burns! Away! Oh god. Nope, missed it. Damn it. The. Ow. This will put out any fires below it, by the way. It is. Stop. You get set on fire, you do get like a rush um, animation where you're running down your head and on fire. Because, you know, entertainment. Go! On oh guard, Misty! When it does the whole um, flooding thing, by the way, that's when the phase is over. So we. The cycle, sorry. So, at cycle 2, it should be flooding. Yes, it is. So, we're just waiting until cycle 3, and ow, that should be it. This isn't a hard bot at all. I think it's called Flamer Saw, I can't remember. But its moveset is entirely directional. And, it, and it's easy to deal with. For instance, it's just about to die. Oh 
course, puts all the heat out because it's cold in here now. But with that, I think it's time we got what we came for. You got the fire element. Flames bring light to darkness and warmth to all. The fire element is the embodiment of that power. Two down. We're halfway there. Hmm. This game might be shorter than Majora's Mask. Hooray, Harkatina! Seven hearts! That's actually quite disappointing considering. Uh, I expect to have more at this point. That boss is a breeze, as you've probably just seen. We're only 12 minutes into this video. And we finished the dungeon. I mean, why is this part seven? Whatever the case. Oof, that was hot. Oh, that was hot. It was so hot, I thought my fibers would catch fire. Ah, but it's over now. I suppose we should go back and speak to Malari. Yes, because we have reason to. Because, you know, we've already done one dungeon, that should be the perfect amount of time in order to actually get this sword finished. Oh, I made mean, that safely. Fantastic! They're all starting to get worried. I think your sword might be ready. The boss was just putting the finishing touches on it a second ago. Because, you know, hammering a blade actually puts swords all out. Wow, that was that was fast work. But not so fast I didn't finish your sword. Here, take a look. I call this new blade the White Sword. We got a sword! You got the White Sword! Its beautiful white blade sparkles with light. You can put away your grandfather's sword now. I don't want to! I want to keep it! Once you infuse it with the power of the elements, it will become a sacred blade. The forest elder no doubt told you this part, but if you want to infuse the sword, you must go to the elemental sanctuary. The sanctuary is a strange realm, trapped between two worlds. It is the bridge between the minish world and the human world. The doorway to the sanctuary opens only once every hundred years. You'll find that door hidden within Hyrule Castle. Once the blade has been filled with the power of the four elements, you should be able to break the curse on your princess. I know you can do it. After all, you made short work of that human mind. Let me tell you about a shortcut you can use to get down from the mountain. You'll find it right in front of the entrance of the mine you just explored. Just follow that and you'll be down in no time. Good luck. You ain't kidding. Also, apparently, no. Kinstone's confused him. Yes, the white sword! It's effectively a level 2 sword, deals 2 damage per hit. And with that 2 damage per hit, it actually does make a good work of it. It also gives you. Um, you remember the Swift Blade school of swordsmanship? The guy. A Swift Blade will teach you a new skill with this sword. And it's a bit of a useful one. I say a bit of a useful one. It's weird because it's a bit of a. You kind of expect it in just for every single game, but then. A lot of them just don't have it with level 2 swords. No, sorry, all of them have it with level 2 swords, rather. But they don't give you it for free in this. Saying that, it's a bit of a weird thing to actually get now. Damage at Christ. Wrong button. There we go. Two damage at work. Also, I want to say we're at 300 rubies as well, so I can get the Don't You Dead. So I can get the Boomerang, because that is going to make a massive time saver. Make, make, uh, give me a massive time saver, rather. That's Mount Crown done. Dragon Islands. Hello, Octorok. Hi, Octorok. Ha! Ah, Keaton! Nice. And back to town. So, first thing on our list of things to do before we do any exploring, because there is exploring to do now, is visit the Swift Play School. Because we have stuff to do here. Hello there, good sir. Hmm, a new sword. Fantastic. And you seem to have acquired new skills with it. Yes, I am ready to train you again, young swordsman. So, Will you accept this new training? I will now teach you a technique called the Rock Breaker. So pay attention. First, 
Swing your sword to break pots! Actually, that's all there is. There is, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Good! If you had said you didn't understand, I would have had serious doubts about you. Yes, but one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body, so as to demonstrate the technique. This is the secret of the swift blade possession technique of training. What's this? Arrgh! Possession! Phew. Now you must try it yourself. Break the pots with your sword! That's all. Yeah, it couldn't really make it any easier, could he? Yes! Fine work! Fantastic, even! I will now give you this Tiger Scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with this scroll! You learned the secret rock breaker to fighting technique! My throat hurts like hell out of that! Shatter pots and pulverize boulders with a single blow. This is more of a time saver than anything else, because you don't have to go around picking pots or boulders up to just throw them and break them. Instead, you throw, you can just cut them through. So, everything's basically a hair bush now. For instance, Hacha! Hurrah! Come again when you learn to run like the wind. Damn it! Don't talk to him twice, Slink. Hacha! So yeah, that's probably the most efficient of the skills to teach you this. One they teach you that's actually really nice, and one that's just more of a. I guess time saver. Let me just check around. Okay, so close. Stop well. Do you have anything good? Got the boomerang still. I can't afford that, so I've got 300. Okay, some of the things you can do now in town are kind of interesting. So, first off, this is basically the cafe. If people have skin stones here, so you may as well see if you can fuse some up. I can actually do one here. Nice. Come on, Baris. I see what you got. I really should check sometime what the image actually is. I believe that's rubies. But that's in the Manish Woods. That's gonna be easy to get to. <laughs> you know what that means? Good luck for us. Uh, Hurdy Goody Man. I've got that one as well. Most of these people just don't really have any use of information for you, really. It's just random tidbits of information. I believe one of them tells you something interesting. But it's not worth hassling though. Oh look, another one. Yeah, <laughs> we get happy. Because I'm happy, come along, if you feel that I'm breaking copyright. Yeah. So, I should explain this really. See this pop? When it's like this, normal everyday pop. Climb in. You can't see me. I am, see. I thought I broke the game then. I am. Solid link. Yeah. But if you flip them over, hello, a portal to the Minish World. There's not really many occasions this comes in use, which is weird and stuff. They're all in town, I believe. Also, I like how the bottom's cracked, despite this being a pop. That's right! Even some human objects are portals to the Minish World. Those Minish may not look like much, but they are quite crafty. So keep an eye out for pots, because they are actually portals. And there are many living in town, like these guys. This cafe is so busy. You need all sorts of stuff from the people here. It's not it's hard not to get stepped on when there's so many people here. I remember one of the adverts for this game, um because they did actually advertise this game. Which, yeah, it was a bit of a map on so I'll oh, cover this. Forgot some things. Um, they advertised this game with a guy who was just shrunk and he looked up with someone just Stepping in the pool and soaking him. Which I find to be amusing to first start, but yeah. Alright, so, this chick here, you can't even climb up here. Eep! When I'm in this, eep! I'm not like my brothers. I want to chase you around and peck at you. Beep beep! Not only that, I also have some good info for you. Somewhere in Hyrule, there's a great fairy who hopes honest adventurers. We've already done this. If you see her, answer her every question truthfully. Beep! You've got a kinstone piece. Why is it? Red. Nope, we haven't got that one. Yeah, just whack it. Wanna quit? You think I'm too young? Beep beep. The thing is, also, you see this cat. Animals you can just steal a kinstone piece with. Meow. 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 
to these kids here. Uh, we've got the beast sweet. Come on, There are animals around town you can deal with. Some are friendly, some aren't. That's Long Long Ranch, I believe. Yeah. We'll go there later. I really wish there was a quick way to get around town. It's like, something like this, but hey. Um, these two houses, not gonna deal with yet, and we can't go over here yet because annoying ghost. But that cuckoo we're gonna need to deal with. Hello! How are you doing me not being anyone's pet? I have to wait around for meals at times. I see whatever I find. Really, that's not very helpful for you. I think there's something else. I just can't remember where it is. Oh, we can go up here. This side of me, there is stuff we are gonna do. We can go into a building that closed. Oh! That was lucky. Who put this here? Got a piece of art, get one more, blah blah blah. Who put that there? There's no way in Bob through the minish. Oh, oh by the way, this can't cross. Shame really. Something else to do. Yes, we are gonna be rolling FYI. I know it's annoying, but it's so it's the quickest way to go. I might go and buy some uh uh, bakery stuff, patisserie goodie. Right, you can go in the back. Um, don't hit the smoke or steam or whatever, it does hurt. There is a pattern to it. If you just listen a bit, or say listen, pay attention. Uh, dust up here because bakery. Are we waiting to invest in high rule. I love the idea of this. Sometimes sneak up, I don't left it, left over bread. If you want, you can use the gust jar just to speed your time up, but it's not that big a deal. Hello there, good sir! Smell. We just love bread. Yeah, that's helpful. Oh, come on, now I'll get 100 rubies. Sweet! Don't feel, don't be, feel bad about falling down. It is actually very helpful. It speeds you up a lot. Uh, I'm going to deal with that another time. Stop well, I'll go to later. Something else I was going to do. That was it. Let's go over this way. Because you can go over here. Now, normally when you go over here, you have to you have to go um, you get blocked off by this dog here. Oh, sorry. Am I in your way? I was wanting a little touch. Anyway, it was nice of you to say hi. Sorry for the trouble. I'll move now. So you can now go this way. Oh, he's got concern. Yes! Sweet. Come on, little doggy! Let's see what you've got. That's North Hyrule Field. I believe, anyway. Yeah. Ruff. Very fit. Ruff. Okay. Uh, Muto, the carpenter, actually invites you with your way out. Oh, let's go check up here first. You got any concerns? The bass might seem rough, but it's a real stuff to your heart. So helpful. Well, that actually opens up the entirety of town now, so we basically now be able to move around all. There's a few places we can't go to yet just because they aren't open. Really. I love how I don't question how I got in here. Neither I am. I'm a. Listen up, you. I'm a skilled carpenter and I'm looking for a re of a challenge. Uh. You don't have your kinstone. Yours. Aww. I'll create another page. To be fair, the carpenter work, carpentry work is actually a nice trade. Uh, I don't know if yours either. There's only greens. There's one blue, greens, and the reds do. Check now. Okay. There is one thing I'm going to point out. And. Oh, it's not so much point out as it is actually deal with. So, you see this bush house here, kind of thing. You can walk in. Leads downstairs. Welcome to what you use your shells for. I collect those mysterious shells you've been you've seen scattered all over the place. If you bring those shells to me, I'll show you these figurines I made. Ah, is that a mysterious shell? Hmm, what kind of offer I'd like to make you? What do you say to trading it for a chance at winning a figurine? Now, this is kind of strange in how they actually sort this out. So, we have 64 figure, uh, shells. 
and you can get these and you can just collect our collection of figurines, which are basically little... The kind of, they're kind of little, um, I want to say figurines, but that's a bit too obvious. They're little models of people, and they give you information on them, like there's the postman, a very serious mail delivery man. He continues to make every delivery right on time every day. There are, I believe, about a hundred odd, I think. I can't remember to save my life. You can't get them all straight away. You have to wait until post-game to get them all, and then he will release new ones every so often. There's about, I think it's, I think it's about nine you can't get right now. No, oh, ten, sorry. No. I don't know. I'll figure it out sometime. But to be aware, you can do this, you can use this way you use your shells for. This is literally the only thing you use shells for, so don't waste, don't hold back. And if you get a good collection of them, come back, use them, that kind of thing. Congratulations! I'll keep the figurine location on the left for you. You can see it any time. So, I am actually going to do this again, and because this show actually shows something else. I can trade again, but this time I have to put more shells in. And I do like how like it's gone straight to free, which, you know, capitalism for you. Now, you can buy shells from Stockwell at 30 for 300, that's roughly 1 for 10. It counts a lot less. Chasers! That's what they're called! Damn it! I thought they were called spikes! Oh well, whatever, guys. Pears and dungeons, they move quickly to chase you once they spot you. Your shield will block them, but keep on your toes. So, if you get a repeat model, he will buy it off you for, I believe it's about 20 rubies. You roughly need to have... Hang on, uh, to get 300, that's 5 and 3. You need 15 repeats in order to get your money back. It's not worth it. It's better to save up, buy, and we'll get straight out the shells to get the thing straight out. Especially later on, when you get like probabilities of 1%. But there is a trick to this, and you'll, I'll show you it later on, where you can basically get infinite shells. And it even works out for other things. But anyway, folks, I'm gonna call this a part here. I have actually. Yeah, we've had a good part. Next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda and the Mage Cup. We're going to explore the rest of Hyrule, well, town, where we've got access to. We're going to get a few things done, we have a few jobs to do around here, but otherwise, it's a very simple day. I've enjoyed this part, folks, and I'll see you next time. Actually, while I'm doing this, I also bring it up. There is a reward for getting all the models. Like, all of them. Hey, Zilla. Zilla's so much he knows, he likes to wander around town with his friends. He knows a lot about Hyrule, he might even give some tips. Um, there is a reward for getting all... Uh, get all these. I'm not gonna spoil what it is because we're not gonna see it for a long time. That's probably like post game bonus content. I don't even know if I'm gonna cover post game bonus content. I'd like to, but hey. Um, but yeah, this is sort of worth it, but at the point you do it, hey, stop while the wolf stops. At the point you actually get the reward, it's a bit too late. I think there is actually a piece of heart in there in, in all, which, you know, completionist. So yeah, that's actually, yeah, I'll go that part here. So I'll see you next time, folks, as I keep spending shells. It's a habit! I'm sorry, I'm addicted!